What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and the CDS current environment connection, and we're going to talk about the action which is delete a record. So delete a record is exactly what it sounds like uh, if you've watched one of my previous videos on delete and record uh, for the CDS connection that's not the current environment one, you'll know kind of how this works, but I thought I'd take you through this today. So I'm in my CDS flow, my CDS current environment flow, which is inside a solution um, that allows you to then have access to these triggers and these steps. We have a trigger. The trigger is on update of an account uh, where we update the telephone number. And then we're going to add a new step. In the bar, I'll type in common data. Uh, and then we're going to choose the common data service current environment connection. And then the second one down is delete a record. So we click that, and then we get two options. We get entity name and we get druid. So unlike the other CDS environment, uh, we're not actually having to specify the organization. All we need to do is spec or the environment. All we need to do is specify the entity name and the ID that we're looking for. So the entity name, we're going to choose accounts. So from the drop down, I'm just going to choose accounts, and the item ID. Um, I can either just type in or hard code in and do it, or I can choose the dynamic content and I'll choose the record they're updating. So I go to the dynamic content and account is the unique identifier for the record. So if I click on that, it goes into there. Now, unlike the lookup video that I've done previously, you do not need to specify the, um, the path of it path of it and put this in brackets all you need to do is just specify the druid just that's all it's asking for it's not a lookup it's just an identifier i think it just behaves slightly differently so what we'll do is we will test this out so we'll click on test and we'll go i'll perform the trigger action so that's running we'll flick over to dynamics and i have a handy uh, account that i've created just for this test account flow delete and all we need to do is just uh import input a telephone number in here so that it triggers and we can hit save and close we're back at the main page we can see it there we've got nine records that you can see at the bottom if i click refresh you can see it disappears we've got eight records if we go back to our flow we can see the flow run successfully so we can see that we updated this account we've got some details about the account um, in here so um, we can see the account name if i scroll down uh, there's the account name, test account flow delete, and the delete step just contains the druid and says, yeah, we deleted it. And it has, does have an output, but it doesn't, um, it's not really nice to look at, so it's fine. Uh, but that's all it is, so it's just a case of pasting in that, um, pasting in that item ID, so that druid that you get, uh, and choosing your account, and it's easy as that. So I hope this video is useful. Um, if you do delete records, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what you delete them for, is it that you're tidying up the system? Is there a reason why you use this over things like bulk delete in the system? Uh, I'm always, always eager to know people's uses for flow and things like that. So let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you could like it and share it, it's really, really appreciated. Uh, I do th thank each and every one of you that, that does that because it is really important for me. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell the people to do it as well because, you know, I need them subscribers. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.